Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply an old film reel effect and texture onto your clips. If you guys are not following me on social media, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you ever want to send me a link to an example or an effect. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please subscribe below. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers and I know we're going to cross past that very soon thanks to you guys. So you can see I've got this normal clip on the timeline and it's actually pretty simple to apply a film texture because we're not going to create it from scratch. I've actually got here in my project media bin a stock film footage that I downloaded from a site called Beachfront B-Roll. I'll leave it in the link below but you could find free stock footages like this which are actual video recordings of film reels playing and projecting onto a screen. So these come with a bunch of grain and texture and that nice black border. So getting into this tutorial, you can see I have all my ingredients ready. I've got my example clip on the timeline, and then I'm going to click and drag that film leader stock footage over top. Now this does have some audio attached of just that fuzzy film moving noise, which I suppose you could keep if you want and perhaps lower the track volume or go to the effects control panel and lower the clip volume if you want. But you could also click and delete it if you don't want it to interfere with any background music or whatever you have in your project. So now that we have the film leader stock footage over top of our actual clip, what we're going to do is go into the effects control panel and then set the blending mode of this film leader clip to multiply. And what multiply blending mode does is it only lets the portions that are darker than the original image show through, which in this case is just the black border and all the little specks of dirt and dust. Now, although the effect actually looks okay and we're almost there, there's a couple of adjustments that we can do to perfect it for our footage. So you can see the black isn't as solid as, as we want. It's actually it's slightly transparent if you can tell, and things aren't as crisp as I want it to be because in the original clip, you can see there's a lot of gray. So what we're gonna do is go to the Lumetri Color panel and then open up the Curves Adjustment tool. Here we can darken up the dark portions of the photo by pulling down on the bottom left, getting real close to center there. And then we can brighten up the whites to make them more white and add more contrast by clicking up and increasing the highlights. You can adjust this to your taste depending on how bright or contrasted you want it. But I would just suggest making sure that the black becomes pretty black and that you can somewhat see more visibly in the middle. If you're scared or confused of the curves tool, you can always go into basic correction and try to adjust things like the contrast, exposure, and then highlights and shadows as well to get a similar level of adjustment. So this is what it looks like before and after we apply the color adjustments. Now there is one more additional step you can take. If you go into the effects panel, let's search for blur and then grab the Gaussian blur effect from the blur and sharpen folder and click and drag that onto the film leader footage and then just apply a slight amount of blurriness to create a bit of that out of focus effect so things can focus back in on your clip. So just make sure you check the repeat edge pixels box to fill in the rest. And as you can see, it's very simple because we're not recreating everything from scratch. Now, one more thing you might not like about certain stock footages is, as you can see, there's a bit of variation from brown to white here and maybe you don't want that. So what you can do is actually just cut out the portion of the clip that you might actually want. And you should be able to just copy and paste that a couple times, either by pressing Command C, making sure your track is highlighted, and then pressing Command V for as long as you need the sequence to be, or by pressing Alt and Option on your keyboard and clicking and dragging it over. And what you'll find is you won't really notice too much of an abrupt cut when you switch over from one repeat to the next in these cases and that'll allow you to use it for as infinitely long as you want the effect to play. If you want to clean things up you can click highlight right click and nest these sequences so that it's one nested sequence that you can always double click and go into and edit if you need to. Just remember if you do nest them you're gonna to have to go into the nested sequence and just make sure the blending mode is back on multiply. So that's how to create that film reel look and effect using actual film reel stock footage Remember, all the links will be in the description, but if you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely leave a like on it, and make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all new future videos. Again, you can follow me on social media, at Justin Odisho, if you want to reach out to me, check out what I'm doing, say hi, whatever. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.